Dash stands for non-alcoholic steatohepatitis. And what that really means is the presence of fat in the liver associated with inflammation with or without scarring, which we call fibrosis. So the current estimates are that by 2020, this will be the most common reason for liver transplant in the US. Most patients with NASH will have no symptoms whatsoever. Some people may have very mild pain in their right side of their abdomen, particularly in the upper part of the abdomen. And some individuals may have no symptoms, but may be diagnosed when they have mild elevation of liver enzymes, or if they have an ultrasound or a CT scan of the abdomen for a completely unrelated reason, and the radiologist notices that there is fatty liver. So this is a very silent disease in a vast majority of individuals until the very advanced stages. There are some individuals that are at increased risk for NASH. Specifically, these are individuals with obesity, with type two diabetes mellitus, with hypertension, with high cholesterol, and obstructive sleep apnea. And NASH seems to be very closely associated with a syndrome that's called the metabolic syndrome that encompasses all of these disorders. And our philosophy is that patients with NASH require an integrated comprehensive treatment involving many different specialists. So in our clinic, when patients come in, they get evaluation and a management plan, sometimes on the same visit, because they have a chance to meet with a liver specialist, a dietitian, an endocrinologist, as well as research coordinators sometimes. So this re leads to shortening of the time to diagnosis, to their risk stratification, as well as a comprehensive long-term management plan. We try to tailor treatment to patients' extent of liver damage from NASH for those individuals that have very mild scarring or no scarring whatsoever, we emphasize lifestyle intervention and weight loss, which can reverse fatty liver and prevent the development of NASH in the future. For those individuals that have moderate to severe degree of damage, fibrosis and scarring, we try to complement lifestyle intervention with some medical therapy, including clinical trials. But for a few individuals that have very advanced liver damage leading to cirrhosis and its complications, we also offer liver transplantation. We follow patients lifelong since NASH is a disease that's chronic and most individuals will need to be monitored and treated lifelong. We also have a commitment to very closely coordinate with their own treatment teams, with their primary physicians and community endocrinologists. So we have a very close bond and cooperation with our referring physicians in the community hospitals. And finally, we have an excellent support system in the form of world-class radiology and pathology. And for those individuals who have very advanced liver disease, one of the world's premier liver transplant programs.